Hi, so I just want to take the first part of this video to talk about the Black Lives Matter movement. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't know if this video is going to get 40 views or 400. I don't have a massive following on here so it might not get that many views but despite how many people this video might reach I still want to talk about it. Today is actually the 2nd of June. A lot of people are silencing anything that's not giving information about the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, I thought what I'd do to just do my part is I'm going to leave a link in the bio to different things that you can sign or donate to. But I think the most important thing is to go away and educate yourself and I'm also going to leave some links to some things that you can read to kind of extend your knowledge because it's not enough to just be not racist, that should just be a given. You have to be anti-racist and you have to be actively doing that. So educate yourself, sign some petitions, donate some money if you can and talk about it. I think that's the most important thing. Challenge people's views, whether that be your own family, your own friends, literally anyone and everyone. Please check out the links below and that's how I'm gonna begin this video before I even start. This is me doing my makeup that I would usually do to take an Instagram picture. Um, Our survey said. Enjoy the video. Thank you for listening. Please donate, please educate yourself. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the voiceover. You can see I'm just tying my hair up and oh, removing that really annoying wee strap. So I just start out by using the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Moisturiser. It's very good. It doesn't smell like tomatoes. It smells like banana bread. Don't know why, it just does. I then put on the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss. This makes me want to rip my own lips off. Yeah! Next I'm just putting on a wee bit of the Revolution Conceal and Define which is just too light for me but don't worry we'll fix that later with bronzer making sure I've got a wee bit on my neck and I'm just blending it out with a real techniques brush yes <laughs> this is the Milani bronzer with a wet and wild brush and I'm applying it all over the face then I'm just taking a smaller brush and adding more bronzer then I'm taking the Milani blush, putting that all over my farge. This is a Beauty Bee palette. This is me modeling it. Talented, Talented brilliant, brilliant, incredible, incredible amazing, amazing show-stopping, show -stopping, spectacular, spectacular, never the, never same, the same, totally, totally unique. That's you. That's you. <gasps> I'm using these two colors here and I'm just putting them on my nose to make my nose like mega bronzed. Yeah! And on the sides of my face and under my jaw and on my forehead because she big and on my neck so it matches and that's me realizing that I did a pretty bad job so I'm blending it out with a bigger brush because it looks quite bad and just putting that everywhere including my top nice one then I'm just taking the Real Techniques brush and I'm gonna try to do freckles which looks kind of bad so I just dab out with my finger Then using my Real Techniques brush with a massive dent in it and using the shade Cinnamon Bun <laughs> I don't know why I said it so seductively but anyway I'm putting that in my crease and just basically buffing it out all over the eye but mainly in the crease and taking it slightly down onto the nose and then with my small Techniques brush again this is me trying to decide which shade to go for. <laughs> Chocolate Souffle is what I have decided to go for. <laughs> By the way, I'm saying the names of the shades into the camera so that I know when I'm editing it what I was using, but I don't know why I've said them so seductively. Anyway, we're doing a wing, apparently. That was really stupid, apparently. <laughs> that one's bad. 
<laughs> so at this point I really was not loving what I was doing. I was just making a bright mess of it all and I was just not doing a very good job. But somehow I do eventually manage to save it so just, just stick with it. And I'm just using that same shade Chocolate Souffle to blend it out. Yeah! Yeah! Then with my shitty eBay blending brush I'm using and putting the shade on my outer corners. Yeah! I'm actually freaking out because this is a video and I feel like it's just going really badly so that's why I'm being over dramatic by the way. Like I'm watching it back and it doesn't actually look that bad. I don't know what I was freaking out about. Anyway, eventually I get a grip so just 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 hang in there till I get a grip. It's coming soon, I promise. I am then taking the Muslin Black off and I'm just drawing a wing. I'm then taking Selfie and popping that under my eyes. And then with my little brush I'm taking Coffee Beans. Never mind, Domino Effect. And I'm just using that shade to smoke out the liner. Because it looks like shit. Then taking Selfie and just putting that over the crease and under the eyes too. And then I'm just taking the liner and just darkening it all down again. Also curling my lashes. Not very well. Ow. Then taking NYX white jumbo pencil and popping that on my finger and putting it in my inner corners. Um, also on the tip of my nose and on the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow. Basically just using it to highlight and brighten. Taking all the glitters, which is just a glitter highlight and just popping that on the inner corners, on my nose and on my cupid's bow. I then started brushing up my brows with my brow gel. I completely forgot to do mascara and I remembered about it. I'm just moving too fast. She moving too fast. I'm so stupid. And I'm just using the Wet n Wild mascara. I'm then using the Revolution eyebrow pencil stick type thing. Forgot the name of it. And I mainly just fill in the outer parts of my brow, like the tail, because the front part of my brow is pretty full, so I usually just do the ends, and that's really it. I then use this Daffy palette, and I have absolutely no idea where I got it from, it's ancient, but it's got a really nice little highlight in it, and I just did put that on my finger, it's quite a natural looking glow, so I just use that as well for highlighter. At this point I thought I'd finished, so I started doing my hair and putting some highlighter on my chest and on my shoulder but I then realised I hadn't done my lips. This is a lip pencil by Elizabeth Arden in the shade Natural number no. 6 and I'm just lining my lips with that and filling it in. And that is more or less the finished look. So once I've done my makeup and my hair and stuff like that for Instagram, um, I usually just sort of set my phone on my window ledge and I usually just do like a timer just so that I can get a good picture. Um, I also just use a little bit of matte setting spray um, just to sort of lock it all in place. And that is it. So like this if you liked it. Um, and that's really it. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Don't know what else to say. Running out of things to say. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.